So can you break down the timeline for us of when you made the decision to apply to PA and when you actually applied? What were your steps in terms of how you prepared? So uh, when I heard about it, it was my last year of undergrad and I I didn't really think about it too much more. And then in the spring term of my master's, I had heard about it and then did a lot of research, attended the different um, informational sessions um, and decided I was not going to pursue the empty path anymore. And then come September, I... um, started preparing kind of like looking at the application process uh, for PA school. Uh, And then I submitted my application, I think it was due in January. Um, And during that time, I I got a couple books to prepare kind of like for the interview because from what I heard, like the Kira Talent interview, I heard, I think, it was SAS interview on your YouTube. He was like, prepare kind of like the MMI. So I was like, okay, so what resources are important for that? So I picked up the, um, I had the doing right book before, but I didn't completely finish it because it's a very dense book, but I said, okay, I need to get through it now. So the doing uh, right book uh, for medical ethics, which is a really great book. It's, um, it's just very dense. And then the PA school interview guide by Savannah Perry. So I had those books and then I started kind of practicing interview um, things. And then I also made the Excel sheet that I was talking to you about. So writing a list of everything I had done, like volunteered for um, and different like jobs that I had had and different clubs that I was involved in. And I also tried to think of like some key pivotal experiences that develop different skills. So like when I was in an emergency situation and I really had to just um, act in the moment or when I was really stumped in a course and I really had to like learn how to be like scholarly and do a lot of extra research or develop those kind of research thinking skills in my master's. So um, I tried to like think about key experiences. And then I had this like bank of things to pull from um, when I was practicing for interviews. So then when a question would come up, I'd kind of like roll decks in my mind. Okay, what experience applies to this question Um, without being redundant? Because there are like lots of opportunities that I've had to be involved in different things. But sometimes I find that when you're in the hot seat or under pressure, it's really hard to think of those things. So if you've already done the legwork and think about the vast majority of experiences that you've had, it's a lot easier to pull from them. So um, that's how I kind of prepared in like the fall, spring. And then when I had my interviews and we found out they were virtual, then I just did lots of Um, like video recordings of myself. I sat down with family members and just got them to interview with me, which um, was a little bit more uncomfortable than I thought it would be. Um, Especially like seeing yourself answer things. It can be a bit intimidating. And also with your family members because because they know you so well sometimes too. You can almost feel a little bit intimidated. Sometimes it's easier with a stranger going over those things. So I felt it was good going with family members because they really pushed me in my responses. And then I also set up like a mock MMI with like a good friend of mine. It was very... um, very sweet. We, um, like I recorded message, like recorded responses to the different questions and like submitted them to like a Dropbox. So I was, um, like just preparing them and then we went over them together. Um, so that was nice just to get used to like doing something virtual and then practicing answering questions. Mm -hmm.